can I help you? <laughs> Ain't no camping here, man. <laughs> so this is Sander. Hello, everybody. These are my two dogs, Zoe and Cora, and we live in our Tesla. And um, the girls already love me. Hello. Hello, you want to say hi? All right, I'm going to get way too distracted, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is your home. This is my crib. I've got the bed, which is a full-size bed and really comfortable memory foam. Underneath it sits my kitchen and closet and my table working space just pops up real easy. Got my closet down here. It's a little low. Need to do laundry day. But in here sits my stove and a few things for cooking. And I do a lot of deep wood stuff, so I need bug spray. Like that is a must have, especially for this lifestyle. Then we come over to my other side, which is more of the water pump and my sinks and plates, all my cooking utensils, all my pots and pans, and this lovely gift I recently received, which is a tea kettle. A donation you got from? Yes, from the amazing Sandro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I gave away stuff that I don't use anymore to people who I think could use it. And then up here is my work area and my camera. So I'll sit here and edit everything. This is where I make the big money at. Because what do you do for work? I'm a photographer, real estate photographer mostly. And I travel around the whole US picking up work along the way. It's pretty sweet. It works out great. So essentially you are, you could say, a sole proprietor? Yeah, I'm a sole proprietor, uh, entrepreneur. Awesome. And then this is the frunk where I keep all the dirty clothes. And then my gym bag, because living on the road, you stop at gyms pretty often to shower and work out if you're mm -hmm. wanting to keep your body in shape. And then I've got my good hiking boots, which these are amazing. They're by Columbia, really good boots. Got a camera slider, some extra cooking stuff. And then this portable charger is necessary for Teslas. With this plug-in, you can stay at RV spots and it just works out perfectly. Is that a, a 1450? Or? Yeah. Interesting. And this goes to the, the, the mobile the, adapter? Yeah, to the adapter, like right here. I so I can do 12 volts or 1450 and it just swaps out real easy. Interesting. Cool. So this is a very, you could say, vintage slash falling apart. Yeah, we <laughs> we're, 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 we're do a little bit too much off-roading for a Model S. As you can see, I've actually ripped off the front bumper and broke it because of uh, all my adventures. I'll give y'all some B-roll to see me doing that. And then uh, in there's all my winter gear. For winter, I've got uh, jackets that are capable of being in negative degree weather and me not feeling it. And then I've got a gas space heater just in case I run out of charge and it's too cold. Nice, and um, you've mentioned it before but you actually have somebody living in here. Rent, oh yes, I have a, a, somebody rent free and he's a little bit of a messy slum. It's a mouse. I, I've chased him a few times, but he always runs off into this hole and then just disappears from there. It, it's, uh, it's an adventure for sure. He, he lives rent free. And, and uh, talk about a mouse that's well traveled. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's traveled around the whole world and seen more than anybody else has probably seen and being a mouse. And, I'm sure he's got a lot to brag about once he makes it back home. <laughs> but living with two dogs, you've got to make sure that they've got their food. So with that being said, I keep the dog food in this nice container right here, which we're running a little low today, but that fills up all the way. And then in between there, this actually lifts up. And you can see I've got a skateboard, a fishing pole, and like little other necessities, dog stuff, my vacuum, some swimming goggles. You have a fishing pole, you go fishing? Yeah, that, that's cool. kind of new to me. Someone actually gave that to me in Oregon for free. The dude was just like, yeah, you're cool. Here's a fishing pole. Nice. I don't know, you meet a lot of people on the road, um, just like random new people. And it's honestly an amazing experience. It's real uh, enlightening. Mm -hmm. And then this water right here for my sink, is actually ran all the way underneath the bed into the front here, which is where my five gallon water tank sits. And I'm able to just pull it out to fill it up pretty easy. Mm -hmm. 
I fill those up at Walmarts or other grocery stores that have water refill stations. It normally costs anywhere from a dollar to two fifty, depending on what state I'm in. But super convenient. That is a must-have. Keeping your dishes clean is an amazing thing. <laughs> and <laughs> Sorry. The car keeps a little dirty, but keeping other things clean <laughs> does help a lot. Sandro yeah. saw yesterday that my setup was a complete mess, so I did a little bit of staging for y'all. It's not always this perfect. But I'll be honest, I like his setup because this works for him. And for example, my setup is, is in some ways similar, also different, but it works for me. Yeah. Right? So I'm, I'm happy you found you're making this work. You're using the car as a car. Like, you can definitely see. Yeah, I use it for... A lot more than what it was designed for, that's for sure. If you actually go underneath, you'll see that I've ripped off a few panels <laughs> and broken. There's a little flaps for the aerodynamics, and those are completely destroyed from off-roading. So you get, like, what is the, the mileage? So, you have so I've got the smallest battery pack that Tesla made after the Roadsters. And uh, on average, with all this load and stuff, I'm only able to get, like, 120 miles in a charge uh, if I'm not being super careful. If I'm super, super careful with the gas and drive under the speed limit, then I can get like 180 miles, but it's not. If you're gonna do this, make sure you get a 100 kilowatt hour battery. It's necessary. The 60 kilowatts is not, not cutting it. And why did you get a Tesla? So there's a few reasons why I went with a Tesla. One, I've got two dogs, right? So I knew about the dog mode, which is amazing because like, what am I gonna do with the dogs whenever I'm outside of the vehicle? I can't just leave the vehicle running. But having the dog mode with the AC on, it, it like that changed the game. And then I found out that there's free supercharging in these older models. And that was amazing. I haven't paid a single penny and I've put like 40,000 miles on this thing in the past year and haven't paid a dime to drive all that distance. So like I was in Seattle, drove all the way down to California, didn't pay anything, just slept in the car and drove. So that's the main reason why I chose it. And then also, I plan to move to Hawaii and live off grid. And I don't want to have to pay for a gas car. I want to just be able to charge up my car with solar and drive around the island like that. So that was another reason why I wanted a Tesla. And honestly, they're pretty sweet cars compared to like everything else. They've got a nice dash, the big screen. It's just amazing features. Well, let's go check out the interior if that's okay. Cause yeah. I had a lot of questions for you yesterday. So this is also still the Model S that they produced with the uh, sunroof. The sunroof. Yeah, which is actually a little bit hard to find. Um, that's new. Um, to find these like this because a lot of them don't even have a glass roof at all. Yeah. And then, yeah, the sunroof actually opens up pretty good. And the dogs will stick their head out and it's pretty funny. But you don't, you told me too, like you don't keep them open while you're Yeah, diving. I can't keep it open because if you see this flap right here, yeah. it works as a windbreak, which <laughs> is never fun for aerodynamics and drag. Plus you have like 20 mile range, right? Yeah, like not so good. Let's see what we've got predicted left. Only 94 miles and we have 60% charge. Like that's pretty pathetic to be honest. But... I love that I can always see back here with this camera. I don't get to see the sides, but I do get to always see what's behind me, and that's really helpful. The interior is pretty simple. I do have my dash. So some of the newer so some of the newer models of Tesla's got rid of this dash, which I really like to have instead of looking over here to do my speed. Mm -hmm. And then I've still got the old gear shift and everything cuz this is a 2014 Model S. Mm -hmm. And Another thing that I've noticed about the X versus the S is that I have an empty space right here for more storage. Mm -hmm. His appears to be full in this area. So yeah. I really like this emptiness right here. It really adds a lot more space. And so I noticed as well that like it looks really vintage. <laughs> Compared to yours? Yeah. 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 Um, but this is like a really old Tesla and like uh, how many miles do you have on it? Right now we're sitting at 139 and a few hundred, about to hit 140, which the other day I was barely at like 130. So I've done 10,000 miles in the past month and that's just insane. But Tesla's, they're super easy to drive and it's super nice. I don't have autopilot, but <laughs> it's still a very comfortable drive compared to other things that I've owned. 
See, I'm the type of person now that it, if I drive a car without autopilot, I kind of get sad. Yeah. I'm like, I kind of have to pay attention now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you should always pay attention. That's how my mom says with her car. And, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's my, this is my home on wheels. If you want to buy it, I mean, hit me up. I'm ready to get an X after seeing Sandra's setup. But this works out really good and has been great for me. So, well, that's so I've, it. I have one or two more questions. Okay. Um, if somebody wants to start out with this kind of lifestyle, what is the, f if you have to give a piece of advice, what would you give them? Okay, so like if you're wanting to really start with this lifestyle where you're living in your car, traveling around the world, whether it's an electric vehicle or not, you're going to need to figure out your income. That's the main thing. Like reality sets in whenever you don't have any money and you need to pay for stuff. <laughs> and if you don't know how to make money on the road, you're going to end up homeless or in a very bad situation. So that's the first step that you need to figure out is how are you gonna make money? There's plenty of ways, delivery services. I'm a photographer. You can be a digital nomad. There's plenty of opportunities out there to make money. Mm -hmm. um, past that, the next thing is it's, it's a life-changing shift. Going from living in a home with a full kitchen to now anybody that drives by is going to see you cooking your food any time of the day. And that is something that you need to emotionally be ready for. This isn't for everybody. This is for a select few of people that just don't care about the social norm. So be ready for that. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing that you want to know is where you can sleep. So understanding that is a crucial thing. I use a website called freecampsites.net. Hopefully that'll be in the description. And uh, Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and that has helped me find a lot of spots for free. We've been trying his Overlander app, and that got us kicked out last night. So yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's the best way to go about it. But, uh, yeah, and then a big game changer to save money on showering and stuff so you don't have to stop at RV stops or get a hotel to shower is a gym membership at Anytime Fitness or Planet Fitness. And use the link in the description <laughs> to sign up for a free month. Like it's, it's super, I'll, I'll super put great. I've maxed out my referrals, so I'll put his referrals down below in the description. So, so you hopefully get... you guys can get me the next year for free. I just need like 12 of y'all to do it. Come on, just 12 people sign up. You need to get swole anyway. Um, <laughs> and then the other thing is just understanding, like living in a car, it's not, it's not the same. You're in this tight space and... You got two beautiful babes with yeah. you. Yeah, and you need to be prepared to be alone a lot of times unless you know people everywhere. You're not going to have friends every day to hang out with. So that's something that a lot of people have a hard time with and to be prepared for. And learning along the way is definitely something you're going to have to do. Oh, well, thanks for, thanks for that piece of advice. And I'll link his channel, his uh, photography business down below in the description, so go check it out. Yeah, I'm one of the top photographers and was the top photographer in Oklahoma, so I know I'm confident to get a good job done for you. If you need work, you know, hit me up. Yeah, well, thanks, uh, thanks for your time, and keep on bulldozing. <laughs> yeah, that's how I always say. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.